When it comes to noise control and room acoustics applications, we often need to know just how acoustically absorptive a material is. Now, the acoustic absorption offered by a particular material is usually characterized by an absorption coefficient. There are various methods that we can use to estimate this absorption coefficient, and I'm going to walk you through one of them, which is measurements taken in a reverberation chamber. OK, so in order to conduct these tests, we're going to need one large reverberation chamber, at least 10 meters squared of your favorite acoustic test material, one omnidirectional sound source, and one measurement microphone system. So the way that this method works is by comparing the reverberation time with and without the test samples in the reverberation chamber. Let's go ahead and measure the reverberation time without the material in the chamber. I'm going to start the noise on my measurement system and then after a few seconds, turn the noise off. The measurement system will measure the decay of the noise in the room and it will calculate the reverberation time for us. I should add that I was wearing hearing protection during this demonstration. In accordance with the standard for this test, that is BSEN ISO 354 2003, I'm going to be using two loudspeaker positions, and for each of those loudspeaker positions, I'll be using six microphone positions. At each of those microphone positions, we will need three decay measurements. Now, that's quite a lot of measurements, so I've sped this up for you. Notice that I am leaving the chamber during each decay measurement. This is because I don't want any acoustic absorption offered by my body to affect the results. And there, all done. Okay, so I've got a load of these um, office partition panels and we're going to be putting them on the floor of the reverberation chamber to uh, test what the acoustic absorption of these panels is. Uh, okay. I have 12 of these office partition panels and I'm laying them in the center of the reverberation chamber. I now repeat the test that we did earlier, that is two loudspeaker positions, each with six microphone positions, and each of those with three decay measurements. And that's it, all the measurements are done. You can now use the reverberation data to estimate the absorption coefficient of the material. All of the measurement data will be provided in a spreadsheet for you to accompany this video, along with the dimensions of the panels that we used for this test. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video.